What is going on guys? We are on the road in Grandpa LMP's Ram 1500 here on the road. Got some corn to put out at my Ohio property, right? Get an eyes of Ohio property. And uh, we're gonna put some corn out there and I, I don't put corn out over there because I'm like, oh, I gotta feed the deer over here because if I don't put corn out, then they're gonna die or whatever. Or even really to increase my chances of killing a deer over there. I don't even hunt over the corn over there and I don't even have any more tags for this county anyways. I just use them to try to get trail cam picks. I don't care if the deer come and feed on them at night or whatever. I don't even actually have this by any of our stands. Even though it's totally legal in the state of Ohio, I just put the corn out in front of a camera just inside the property there just to kind of get intel on how many deer are in the area on the property using it regularly because if I can get a couple does to stop by, sometimes I can get a buck to stop by as well and check the does out and then that gets me a picture that I wouldn't have otherwise gotten of him in some cases. So I kind of use it for that manner not really any other reasons with the amount of deer we have over there which is absolutely insane i'm not going to feed them with you know <laughs> throwing out 100 pounds of corn even a beak it's not going to do anything for a herd of 50 plus deer living over in that spot right there on that note if you guys want to get entered to win a hunt with us lmpoutdoors.com there's only i think like 80 people that have entered for that hunt or $2,000 cash and it ends on November 29th and then it's over. So if you want to get in on that, your odds are one in 80, like one or two right now. So if you want to get in on that hunt or $2,000 cash, even if you don't give a flip about the hunt, if you want $2,000 cash to put towards maybe your own property or a custom rifle that you want or just anything you want, maybe you got bills you want to pay, odds are pretty freaking good right now uh, and the giveaway's pretty much about over. And just not many people interested in it, which is totally cool. We weren't really expecting like a ton of people to enter for a deer hunt. It's not like it's a truck, you know what I mean, with cash. So anyways, guys, if you want to get entered for that, lmpoutdoors.com, just place an order, you're automatically entered to win. Anyways, guys, uh, we're on our way over here to put out some corn and check some trail cams that have not been sending me photos like they're supposed to. So we're going to check those, and then we're going to head on over to my dad's farm, and we're going to be checking out a new toy he got and kind of getting his take on it. He's got to operate it the last couple days, so I'm curious to see how he likes it and if there's any weird quirks about it that he does or does not like as much. And uh, yeah, so let's get on over here, get those taken care of, and then we're going to go check out his new toy. And it's so crazy how simply a new battery can change so many things about this truck. I mean, everything just is so much better. And I don't know if this is just me going crazy, but I feel like replacing the TPS sensor and the air idle sensor, I feel like this truck's actually getting better fuel mileage. It could just be in my head, but it's used one eighth of a tank. And that has been about, I want to say 90 miles of driving, about almost 70 miles home, and then I've been on the road here for another 10 miles or so. So I mean, give or take, oh yeah, and we went to a restaurant back. So yeah, give or take 90 miles on an eighth of a tank. It's pretty stinking good, I'd say. This thing would usually, coming back from the in-laws, uh, usually this thing would use every bit of a quarter of a tank. So yeah, and I always fill it all the way to the top every time I stop. I'm guessing you didn't do that on purpose. <laughs> I guess that's why these locks are here, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you're sitting in a new toy, so we should probably pull out and show it to him, you know? Just, yeah, wanna, buckle wanna up. Out? No, no, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> new toy. He's like a kid in a candy store, I swear. Can you just turn the key off? You say... I don't really want to get out of this thing, if I'm being <laughs> honest with you, this thing is nice. We kind of never came to a conclusion on what you were going to for sure end up doing with, you sold the John, what all, I kind of forgot. Tractor, you sold manure spreader, okay. gooseneck, gooseneck, 4320, 4320, and the backhoe. And Nasty Red. And Nasty Red. Yeah, yeah, so. I basically gave Nasty Red away. Yeah, don't even, don't say that. They're gonna think you're actually serious. <laughs> it was reasonable, but. Was reasonable. But yeah, so here is his new toy. One of one of his new toys, he said he's got something else on order. We'll, we'll save that for another time, but it's also another There's new toy. Things. You have two more things on order? Would you, wait a minute, we need, we need to talk about something. <laughs> what did you order? A new tractor and new a new tra TV. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Okay, okay. So, why did you go with the Kubota and why the 75 horse? You did a lot more talking to those guys than 
I heard when I was there well, just looking. This piece of equipment's probably gonna get used like every day. Every day. Every, 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 <laughs> every other Saturday throughout the summer. <laughs> the primary application of this is um, like right now, yesterday, I used it to create some stone. Don't, don't be too critical. It's actually, it's really level, guys. It, it looks really good. It really does. There's just some, um, it just needs. Heated it all the way it up. It just needs more. So, but mostly the main application is going to be for moving hay. So there's a lot of units out there that are great for different purposes. I wanted something that has the ability to at least go use, take two large square bales and then lift them up. Because the Kubota tractor, it, it did it. It did it. But it was super was sketchy. <laughs> it was super sketchy. It, it, it wasn't balanced well, like for that application. I have fluid in the back of the tires, and sometimes I'd have to have the tiller on the back too. In my body weight, if you get off of it, you're gonna feel like the tractor's gonna. Oh yeah, and the guy, and you were telling the guy that you're like, yeah, I, I moved two big squares. He's like, dude, you've got to be maxing those <laughs> things out. He's like, those arms have got to be beat up. You're like, yeah, they're bent. Anyway, this hopefully is going to do take the place of the Kubota moving hay. We can still do that, of course. But, you know, I've had that Kubota. I bought it new in 2010. It's been a great tractor. I've never it has an been a great tractor. It. I mean, it's, uh, it's, it definitely paid for itself. One funky thing it did with the, like it would randomly like just cut off fuel and like stall. Yeah. But usually you could just put the clutch in, turn the key and just fire back up and just keep working. And I don't know what that was. I never was figured just... it out either. Cause you replaced the filter, you replaced I'm guessing I mean, it was all kinds dirt of stuff from the gas can, the diesel cans, you know, that got in there or like something in a liner in the tank floating around a fly yeah, or a bee. Cause remember Jer said, he's like, we did his tractor did the same thing. He said there ended up being a dead yellow jack in the freaking diesel tank that flew in there when they filled it up one time and I never knew it was in there. So I looked at other, other units. I would honestly, it'd be fine with any of them as long as it had the capacity to lift. Yes. This one, I was looking at the SV 65. I don't think it would have done what this one is capable of doing. It's only a, a approximately 10 horsepower different, but, but the lift capacity on these and the ability to stay a little bit better balanced. Though. How much, do you know what the lift rating is on this thing? I, I thought, don't quote me because different years could vary slightly, but I thought it's in the range from what the guy told me was around 2,400 pounds. Yeah, I mean, that sounds reasonable. That doesn't so, sound crazy. Um, and it has a lot better reach, I'm suspecting, than the tractor too. Yeah. So, because um, yeah. it's obviously, has to be big enough to dump stuff in dump trucks and crap like that. Because there's different ratings. There's like lift, like operating Radio lifting lift, capacity, and, yeah. and then there's like breaking for like a like a what is it called? You, they'll, correct the, they'll, correct yeah, yeah, they'll correct us anyways. Yeah, they'll correct us anyways. There's differences. I was looking at a couple different ones, and I almost got a John Deere, and then it sold from underneath. <laughs> <laughs> Which it was my fault because I didn't Idiots. act on it. Just right. kidding. <laughs> I was first looking at the Kubotas and then I wasn't sure I wanted to buy a new one because I couldn't see it as worth the money since I don't hardly use it. I still wanted something kind of new that would hold value and not have to work on it because it's a piece of crap. So Yeah, and like, and when you were looking at them, you were finding tons of them for with two or three thousand hours and they were they were selling quick and selling for a lot. And this has only a thousand like it's got less it's got less hours on it and it's a what year it's a 2019 yeah way your Kubota has the same amount of hours and it's a 2010 you know and you use that tractor like freaking crazy right. since you've had it pretty much until just recently but that tractor has been worked like crazy and you just now got a thousand hours on that yeah so i mean it's a little it's got some bangs and scratches on it which is to be expected i mean it's been a while since honestly like I used to, I grew up in a farm like where we would use yeah. these every day to haul manure and manure and put hay out and stuff like that. But I haven't used one on a daily basis for quite some time, but your visibility is like hardly anything, so you just have to kind of get used to it again. But he's got one of these little backup camera I cheater had him screens. That. Yeah. <laughs> I had him install it simply because when I am putting hay in the barn. These guys like newbies. Yeah. <laughs> Backup. Where you guys want to farm and you got like all these heated AC cabs now. Yeah, right. It's kind of nice, right? I got the camera just because I didn't want to like accidentally back into the barn and bang up the metal and stuff it's like, like that. So. Like back in your King Ranch or yeah. anything. Well, when I first or got anything. In, this. When I first got in, I'm looking at the camera and I'm just trying to get used to the, the feel. Because like, you know, with the car, you have like the lines and crap like that. Yeah, yeah. This doesn't have that, that I know of. Maybe it does. It's in the settings. But I get in there and I'm backing up and then it, re it dawned on me. It's all backwards. Like I had my truck to my left, but in the camera it was on my right, and then I had the mower 
on my right and oh, the, no. it was on the left so I'm kind of going backwards and I'm like what the heck and then I found a setting that I, it flipped it around it mirrored it but okay. uh, initially it was a little bit uh, sketch a little bit weird speaking so. of hitting the King Ranch almost I was surprised like how like it just it's so it's run so smooth you know? I was telling him how quiet it is I'm like this thing is so quiet like even quieter than your uh, your little 30 what is it a 32 horse Kubota I mean it's way quieter and I don't know if it's just because of does this have DEF and stuff or no it does uh, I'm I mean I would sure imagine it, has it does some sort of carbon filter this is where the diesel goes hmm. yeah, which you can read that because it's in Chinese <laughs> right right I did get in there and I cranked the heat up because it is pretty pretty cold out here it's pretty nice I'm not gonna lie two speed components kind of nice on this too yeah it's pretty it's pretty fast it's pretty fast it's for like you get the Popeye version yeah right post spinach takeoff but yeah from inside here Ugh. so these controls are for acceleration turning forward backward all that stuff and then you get the pedals for your lift and lower tilt in and out yeah and Kubota has options for joysticks but this one came obviously it's a used machine so that's what they had and I've been looking and I just couldn't find any of these there's a lot of them out there on the internet, but then when you go to inquire about them, people have ordered new ones, so they're not actually on lot in many cases. They're like, you know, available April or available March, you know, because they're waiting on their machine. And some of the new equipment, you can't get till third quarter next year. But I like the foot pedals because it's like traditional Bobcat. I grew up on a case where it had the, uh, H pattern of everything, so that was so oh, really fun. But then, then I learned how to use these. But the joysticks, uh, I've not used, so I'm, I'm okay with this. I could learn the other way too, but this should be good. Freaking sweet. And then, how does this close? You want to show them how this closes um, up? This is if you want. It's to also kind of, it's also kind of cold, so. And of course, I got the radio, so that way I can listen to my rap on that daily. Yeah, his Eminem and yeah. Kanye and well, I don't know what I don't know what you listen to. <laughs> I don't know who that is. <laughs> oh. oh, sweet! And then you just kind of grab these handles. Heck yeah! And you just kind of push them. Oh, my bad. This one. Yeah, you gotta do them both. That's freaking sweet. So sweet. So one of these days I'll probably take a rag to the inside because it's disgusting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you had already bought it, so they're like, well, he, he gave us the money now, so we'll just drop it off in a few days. I'm hoping the next big task for this thing is to be able to pull a big buck up. Right? Actually, yeah, this, this thing cost him a buck already. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> you you could have been using it the day you got it. Honestly, he was saying what how. Referencing is, I was in the deer stand. It was it would have been last Friday, and I happened to see the orange coming down the driveway because it was on the trailer. So I thought, well, I'll get out of the stand and go meet the guy, help him unload. Big, Big so mistake. So I get out of the stand and then I get a bing from my cutty back, and there is a large antlered animal. Five minutes after I got out of the stand. Broadside right in front of us. Broadside in front of where I was. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's how it goes. Just go shoot him another day, I, I guess. Thankful in my heart. We'll leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> the guy could have waited another 10 minutes. Yeah. Right? I swear this cat knows when I have the camera. It just follows me. I, I don't understand it. Hope you guys like that Kubota skid loader my dad picked up. Thing is pretty freaking sweet. I'd like to see him mess around with it a little bit more, kind of see how it operates and works. And I think it's pretty sweet. He's definitely going to use that more than he did his bulldozer. He got a lot of use out of his dozer. It just, uh, it just kind of hit its point where the property was prepped as much as he needed for driveway. You know, grading out the foundation for that barn, all this other stuff, cutting paths through the woods. So he just didn't need it anymore, and it was a good, the skid loader would be a good replacement. He's definitely gonna get a lot of use out of it. Saw some good pictures over at the property over there where we're gonna do the hunt giveaway. I'll try to show you some of those on my LNP Outdoors Instagram page. Definitely follow that. There's less than 90 people entered to win that hunt or $2,000 cash, and that's kind of crazy because the giveaway literally ends in less than a week. I mean, it's ending soon, so. Um, even if you don't care for the hunt, I mean, two grand is, it's two grand, you know? If you want to get entered to win this, 1997 12 outcomes plus 5, 
thousand dollars cash guys 48 hours left to enter to win this truck so if you're wanting to get in on this thing you're running out of time i mean time is ticking and for today only until midnight i'm offering a discount code for free shipping for all us orders 15 dollars and more it's just thank you that's the discount code it's thank you gets you free shipping for all domestic us orders 15 dollars and more which is pretty much everything on the store. Why is free shipping a big deal? You know, some people are like, why would I want to save money when paying money gives me entries? Well, shipping doesn't actually get you entries because we don't make any money on shipping. That's just a postage fee that goes to the shipping companies that ship the orders. We don't make any money on the shipping anyway. So basically, we're taking those shipping fees and we're just forking them out of our own pocket and not having you pay your own shipping costs. So, if you guys wanna take advantage of that, it's the best deal you're gonna get. 25X entries and you're not paying money for shipping because the shipping doesn't give you entries anyway. So it's a really, really good perk. We can't do this all the time though because of course, if we always forked out the money for all the shipping, we're not Amazon, we don't get shipping for literally pennies on the dollar. And um, we actually pay pretty much the same shipping rates you guys pay when you ship stuff out. So it's kind of a big deal when we do a deal like this because I mean, it, it, shipping does cost a lot. It costs quite a bit of money when you add it up based on everybody's orders. I mean, it, it gets expensive. So if you want to take advantage of that, today is your only chance to get 25X and the free shipping. But the giveaway for this truck plus five grand ends on Wednesday. Thanks so much, guys. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.